Hey, welcome back to the big board. Thought it might be worthwhile for us to take a look at Objective Moscow and uh, have a look at the map a little bit. Have a look at the scenario that we're going to play and some of the optional rules and the way in which I'm going to try and tackle the game and <clears throat> see if most of that makes sense. And if not, then uh, I'll be looking for everybody to chime in and uh, tell me to get it right. So uh, without further ado, let's check out the map. So <clears throat> a very large geographic area, starting in the northwest corner over by Munich, which is just here under the tape. And we'll have uh, set up forces will be put, uh, all the western forces will be along this kind of sector here. And then you've got uh, the eastern countries, eastern European countries, Poland, the Soviet Union, and then uh, this runs all the way down to uh, Caucasus, Afghanistan, Iran, China, Korea, Alaska on the far top right hand side, basically. Uh, well, there's a box for Alaska anyway. Now, I was looking at the scenarios and there's two basic themes that can be played here. One is called the contemporary scenario and that is pre-1998. And the idea would be that behind, behind that is uh, there's a, probably a lot more detail in terms of the actual setup instructions. So we would uh, have a hex by hex class one, class two, class three, class four, Soviet Union uh, forces set up and then you go through and there are the headquarter units and all that sort of stuff that you set up, <clears throat> which all sounds great and fabulous. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in this uh, contemporary or contemporary, I'm interested in the 1998 or what they would call when this was made, you know, future war campaign game. Primarily uh, for a couple of reasons. One, th there seems to be slightly less units, so I'm kind of looking for a way to reduce the uh, counter density. And then secondarily, uh, there's no uh, there's no specifics required for where units set up, so there's a little bit more freedom there, which I think might be a little bit of fun as we're uh, evolving our understanding of the game. And then secondarily, or third, I probably should say, is you'll note these Ws here. That means these units come on as a, in a wartime footing. In the pre-1998 game, the, there's a peacetime concept where you then have to mobilize forces, and if those forces are attacked while they're mobilizing, a retreat result causes it to be eliminated. Um, if it then eventually, uh, those that aren't eliminated in the opening couple of turns, uh, have an opportunity then to mobilize and conduct, and they either are rolled for, or they mobilize automatically depending on their class. And you then swap that unit with a P on it for a unit with a W on it. And all of them are untried, but uh, you swap them out. So you can imagine if you had a couple hundred Soviet units uh, that are in peacetime mode, they would all have to be physically swapped out. Sounds like a lot of work for not a lot of gain. This particular scenario uh, lets you assumes that both sides knew that war was imminent. Both sides are in they're ready, ready.